Let us talk about the velocity of blood flow, which is just a fancy way of saying how quickly blood can flow. So the velocity of blood flow is determined by the cross-sectional area of the blood vessels to be filled. So the fastest flow will occur where the area is the least. So we'll go over this figure a little bit more carefully in class, but try to study on it. Maybe you, maybe you want to copy it into your notebook. I'm not sure. It might not be a bad idea. Um, so what we're looking at on the top figure here is the um, total area of like the it's the total area of the like the lumen of the blood vessel at each of these levels. So you have a uh, the pink here is listed way down here at the bottom. The aorta, arteries, arterioles, and then capillaries. You can see quite a difference there. And then lastly is the veins, venules, veins, and the vena cava. Okay, so that is basically saying that you have um, the lumen is smallest at the ar arteries and at the veins. And of course, that doesn't make any sense at all, does it? Because the capillaries are tiny. But actually, if you put all the capillaries together, side by side, as a whole, their um, area, the, the area of their lumens is, is much larger if you kind of add them all together. And down here at the bottom, what we'll see is that the velocity of blood flow, which is measured in centimeters per second, um, is going to be slowest, almost approaching zero when it gets to the capillaries. And that just makes a lot of sense. So arteries over here, capillaries quite slow, veins kind of in the middle. So the aorta, at the aorta, the, um, the velocity of blood flow is 40 to 50 centimeters per second. This is at rest, 40 to 50 centimeters per second. The cross-sectional area of the, of the arteries is 2.5 centimeters squared. At the capillaries, the uh, the, the cross-sectional area is, uh, sorry, the velocity of blood flow is 0 0.03 centimeters per second, and the cross-sectional area is huge. It's 4,500 centimeters squared. And then at the level of the vena cava, um, the cross-sectional area is 10, sorry, the velocity is 10 to 30 centimeters per second. The cross-sectional area is 8 centimeters squared. So there's a proportionality there when you're looking at speed, versus cross-sectional area. And I think it's helpful to look at this as a river versus a lake. Think of how quickly water can go through a river, which has a very small area, kind of like it must it must go quickly because it only has so many places to flow. And so it goes quickly forward. And then as it reaches into a lake, it slows down because it's got a lot of expanse to flow through. So it can go much slower. And then at the other side of the lake, if there's another river for it to flow into, it will start flowing quickly again.